So here I have three, three Xbox 360 controllers. And I'd have to say out of all my systems, my 360 probably has always gotten played the most. Um, and the reason I have these three here are because of how they connect. Uh, this one here, being the USB wired one, is always my go-to one. I've actually even, uh, before using my Xbox One controllers, I use that on the PC a lot. And I like that one because you never have to worry about the batteries. Um, then you have these two that are wireless. And you'll see with the black one here, actually I believe both of these, so I should have grabbed the other ones, you'll see you have the battery pack that came with the units. And these are nice because you can uh, power them up on the fly. And then there's also the rechargeable battery. And this thing has actually treated me really well for a long time. I have a few of these. Um, I actually like them quite a bit. This one's actually a Microsoft one. Um, I have Nyko ones, but they are all actually identical looking. Probably come out of the same place, but I actually really like those a lot. And, you know, they're not difficult to plug in. They just go in and go. I have a couple cradles that you put them on. And this one, of course, is dead. And that drives me insane. <laughs> so, my solution for it, because those are actually starting to die slower and slower, is, you know, a different type of rechargeable batteries. But I've always used them. They are handy. The only problem is, is I'm always losing, or not losing, but misplacing, like what charger goes to what, things like that. So I found these, and there's a lot of different types. Uh, the ones I got are only uh, 1,200 milliamps, but they have one thing that all the other ones I looked at didn't. Uh, at least so far, I'm still looking. Uh, a lot of them have a way of recharging them without having to have a separate uh, charging unit or cable is... Um, micro USB or USB-C. Um, I did find some 1500 milliamp per hour uh, with the USB-C, which I liked. But this, I went with this to try it out first. One, it was only about 20 bucks for all four of these. But this one actually has everything you need built in. So there's really no reason to worry about ever losing a like your charger or anything like that. Because, well, it's right there. You can charge it through the Xbox. You can charge it through your computer. Um, a lot of them show like battery packs. So you can see I'll take this battery pack here. Let's plug it in. And there you can see it's lighting up red. A little bit hard to see if I can get some shade on there, but it's lighting up red. Let's take a couple that haven't been charged even yet. And usually these come with some kind of factory charge on them. Well, that one's sticking a little bit. Let's take a look, make sure there's nothing else going on here. There we go. All right, let's put it in here. Flip it over. And there we go, and apparently this is synced to one of my systems. Because I hear an Xbox here going, there we go. So yeah, like I said, I just got these. I'm going to try them out. Uh, if everything goes well, you won't probably hear anything. If everything doesn't go well, well, you'll probably hear something. But so far, I'm pretty excited at the fact that I have batteries that I can charge and not worry about where the chargers are. And since my old ones that are starting to die on me, I don't really have to worry about those too much anymore either. So there we go. I can charge a couple at a time there. I could also put them inside the Xbox, like I mentioned. And I always do keep around a, a wired controller to play with also. But yeah, just looking at, here we go, let's pull this out here. See if I can focus in on that. There we go. So even though it's not clearly marked, I'm thinking that's the 1500 milliamp per hour. Normally, Normally they label this. 
and say what it is. But yeah, it's looking at like about 1500 milliamps. And these are, let's see if these say on here. I know, I know what they are just because of when I ordered them. But these are, there we go, see if I can get that in focus. These are 1200 milliamps. So they are a little less powerful. But the fact that you can charge them on the go, I think is fantastic. And like I mentioned, I have a wired controller. These controllers only take two batteries. I do have the um, alkaline battery method, which those actually last quite a while. So I'm thinking even if these aren't quite as long, they'll still last a while. And with all of that, I should have no problem keeping uh, some gaming going. I have two charging while two are in a controller, swap them out if I need to. I have so many of these things um, that it will not be a problem. Uh, this, this is gonna actually hopefully be a really good solution. But like I mentioned, if it's not, I will uh, do a part two. If you're like me and this helps you out, please share, like, uh, leave a comment if you want to. If you know anyone else who actually has this problem, please share it with them. I know batteries with wireless controllers can be so frustrating, and it can be so expensive to have a solution for. Um, otherwise, thanks.